so yeah you know um at some point in our life we would have get into intimate relationships and sometimes they don't always go as planned sometimes the ending sometimes is far worse than the beginning so <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl Keisha. On this channel, I focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, nursing, and anything that I choose to put out there. So guys, as you know, I decided, like I said, I'm going to be transparent and I'm going to bring everything real to you. And like I said, this is my channel and whatever I choose to put here is based on my personal experience or life experiences. So guys, I have been doing some random videos as to some of my personal experience while living in the UK and you know I'm just gonna spill the beans, spill some tea, whatever era aspect of my life I want to share. So this video is no different. So in this video I am gonna talk about how to get away or how to heal from being after being in a toxic relationship or so-called toxic relationship that you think that was not good enough all right so if you want to know how or what i'm gonna talk about why not subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload a video you will be first to be notified so you need to feel for your emotions. Um, sometimes it's, it's okay to be upset. It's okay to feel not okay. It is okay. It is okay to cry because sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes when you think, okay, this is love. This is what you think is love. You sometimes drown yourself in all the memories that sometimes it's so difficult for you to let go or even sometimes you become so angry yeah you be, you become vexed with the world listen it's okay to be sad it's okay to have regrets listen it's emotions you can't see it right so it's okay so feel and accept your emotions one of the thing is i always object to is why why after and in a relationship, you still want to have this communication. What are you holding on to? So I would think that if you want to heal, you have to stop contacting your partner because mentally it is good. Because it's like when you constantly contact, whether it's phone or email or whatever, you tend to have this, um, you still tend to have this bond. So you need to stop cont all contacts. That's just how I feel. You need to stop all contacts. And mentally, it helps you. It really helps you. Because every time that person revisits your life, you tend to remember all, sometimes not just the bad things, but, you know, the good things in the beginning. And it's like you still want to hold on to something that is not even there. So I will say, cut all communication whether it's for a year or two or how long it it is best for you so are you expecting closure don't expect closure because sometimes depending on why the relationship has ended sometimes an apology really and truly means nothing because Sometimes people actions and what they show you is basically a part of them. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes people do change. Yes. But guess what? The actions have to really coincide if you know what I mean. So let's don't expect an apology. Okay. To move on without that closure. Even though sometimes a lot of us would prefer that we have or we are aware as to why this particular relationship has ended and sometimes as well i would always say a still tongue keeps a wise head right a, a still tongue do keeps a wise head so honey don't expect closure <laughs> 
it's also important that we maintain um, a strong relationship with our support system you know sometimes you get into a relationship and sometimes you forget about your friends and family just to be with a specific person or sometimes that person try to influence you to cut off the friends and families that you have yeah so that the communication will not be there because they're being selfish put it like that you know and many times we see this, many times we see our, our relationship, our fam, um, relationships with our friends and family, sometimes this integrates over a relationship. But I think we should always strike a balance when it comes to having our friends and families with our relationships. And don't ever make anyone let you cut your relationship with your friends and family just to be with them. Because if that happens, which means they do not love you in the beginning in the first place okay don't be afraid to admit what you've been through don't be afraid it is okay to speak about what you have gone through because sometimes that's the only way that you can also heal once you speak about it you feel so relaxed you feel so you know you you, you feel so empowered Put it like that you feel so you feel so good like you have achieved something good and i think for that it is a first step forward especially when you have accept the situation for what it is so you accept that situation that situation for what it is and guess what healing can now start all right and with also that being said if you don't want to speak about your 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 um situation or your relationship that you've been in is okay you can write you know write in a journal writing your thoughts and your experiences at least you know you can revisit that and um writing it out makes you also feel good even though you don't you may not want to talk about it it is okay but you can also write it out and when you do that you feel so great you feel like you have accomplished something yeah so it's okay rediscover your true self you know sometimes you begin a relationship and it's like you tend to forget yourself you put that man or woman in front of everything that you do you know you just throw everything aside and just just focus you have like you just focus on this one individual because like okay that person now becomes the center of your world that you forget yourself honey darlings you need to rediscover yourself okay rediscover yourself so you prioritize your happiness and you just continue um living and doing the things that you love because remember you were someone before you met that someone and sometimes i don't understand why it is that we tend to just put everything on a back burner just because we know in a so-called relationship and we think that we are so in love that we tend to forget ourselves but honeys darlings boo-boos we need to rediscover ourselves and with that i want to touch on another point self-care is also important um getting out of a toxic relationship we also have to be able to focus on self-care and you know doing all sort of things that you love if you're custom pampering yourself doing some manicure pedicure go for some nice long walks in the park you know go to the beach you know visit friends and family also you know just find, finding that time maybe to meditate if that's one way you want to do it hey guys I hope that I've been doing justice so far. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button so that whenever I upload a video, you will be first to be notified. And yes, I'm on, on the topic of how do you how do you heal from a toxic relationship? And I'm just talking about self-care. Yeah? So just do you. Do you feel great? And you will find yourself in like such a more happier space you would laugh more you look you you glow it's like the glow that glow when you do things for yourself 
it makes you feel so different right so i know many of you would have like i said gone through whatever relationship challenges but especially if the relationship ended on a very bad term and we consider that relationship to be toxic so honeys do you okay prioritize have some self-care for you after leaving a toxic relationship listen you cannot forget that experience okay so you need to make sure and take the, all the necessary notes take the necessary experience and life challenges that you would have received and moving forward you need to use those as let, let's say a benchmark or even you know set the bar higher that whoever comes around next make sure that some of those not some all of those things that you would have get out from that toxic relationship that deems no good for you progressing forward make sure that you doesn't accept it okay don't accept it because why are you gonna accept the same thing because if you do that the cycle then continues okay so honey take note of your experiences that you had while you were in this so-called toxic relationship be patient with yourself you know healing takes time some people can move on in five days while other take others take five years so be patient with the process it will come and at the end of the day you know your person you know you you know how much you can deal how much you can cope with how much you can tolerate so it is important for you to be patient with yourself and do not compare your journey with someone else journey else's journey okay so be patient with yourself listen also why are you blaming yourself because someone treated you poorly no, tell me why listen sometimes the way how people treat you is just the, that that reflection of them so don't go around blaming yourself because you would have done your best and maybe your best was not good enough for them and even vice versa maybe their best that they think that they were giving you was not good enough for you so then we start blaming ourselves but guess what sometimes things happen for a reason and it's just for us to learn and do better okay so don't go wrong blaming yourself you need to continue to be strong and you know sometimes it's very hard after coming out of a so-called toxic relationship but you just got to find that inner strength um, that way you can cope and you can move on like you have to do it You just have to find that inner peace that inner strength and tell yourself that Irregardless of the situation that you can and you will do this. Okay, just know that just know that you are a survivor and the relationship does not define who you are moving forward Okay, not least the one thing I want to leave with you is focus on the present, okay? So sometimes after we come out of a, a toxic so-called relationship, we tend to look back at the past and we tend to beat ourselves up about it. But at the moment, focus on the moment. Focus on what can you do differently or what can you try now to at least have a positive outcome of let's say moving forward so you just have to focus on the present situation the present time the now okay and if it is that let's let's say when if you focus on yourself and you think okay you need to make some changes whether it's your attitude your your physical aspects and um, don't get me wrong it's not about trying to get all physical in terms of whether you you want to lose weight or you want to go back to the gym that because all of that is about self-care um, but what I'm just getting at is just basically focusing on the present situation the present time and you know just move one step one step 
at a time because the healing the healing phase it's a process all right it's it's a walk in it's a walk in progress so focus on your present time and you do things based on now all right so guys yeah so this just brings me to the end of my video how are you gonna get over a so-called toxic relationship and i'm just i just give you some a few tips and um things that we can do to get over a toxic relationship because at some point in our lives we would have met someone or someone would have met us and just like how i'm talking um yeah someone would have met us and think oh she's toxic or he is toxic and they couldn't continue this particular relationship so um yeah so those are some of my my those are my views Put it like that um so guys if you really really love this video why not give me a thumbs up so i can continue and why not share and get interactive in my comment section so let me know and guys like i said my channel is all about fashion beauty lifestyle nursing and anything that i choose to put out there so we're gonna talk relationships we're gonna talk health we're gonna talk fashion we're gonna talk nursing we're gonna talk every little thing all right so this channel is just a reflection of my thoughts and my and it's always subjective and it's always objective okay so why not you can share your experience in the comment section voila